Judy Rollins, the daughter of an American soldier stationed in Germany, is the victim of a heart ailment that requires immediate surgery. The delicate operation should be performed at Walter Reed Army Hospital in Washington, D.C. But Washington, D.C. is 3,000 miles away. That's 144 four winds, 210 degrees, 12 knots, cleared for takeoff. Weapons, medical aid, supplies, and troops are needed in four corners of the globe in a matter of hours and minutes. The Department of Defense has assigned the job to the Military Air Transport Service, called briefly MATS. This is the U.S. Army salute to MATS. has its world headquarters at Scott Air Force Base near Belleville, Illinois. At a master control center, contact is maintained between higher headquarters in the Pentagon on the one hand and all elements under Matt's control on the other. This is Colonel Triolo. Activate the command post immediately. Stand by to implement Sugar 4 Charlie and notify Commander Matt. Hello, East Staff Command Post. This is Headquarters Matt's Command Post. Prepare to execute Sugar 4, Charlie. East Taft, the Eastern Transport Air Force at McGuire Air Force Base, is one of the two main airlift elements under MATS headquarters and is in direct control of all bases and transport units in operation up to a global dividing line in Saudi Arabia. Hello, African Area Command Post. This is East Taft Command Post. Execute Sugar 4, Charlie. Acknowledge, please. This is Area Command Post. Understand. Matt's Jet 4139, this is African Command Post. Cancel your flight plan and refile for Rhine, Maine, Germany. Roger, Command Post. This is Matt's Jet 4139. Stand by for ETA, Rhine, Maine. Matt's maintains an aerial force that can change directions immediately to meet emergencies anywhere in the world. A routine scheduled flight becomes an emergency non-scheduled flight. At Rhine Main Air Base, 10 planes have been assembled for the Indian Arms Airlift. Other cargoes are quickly unloaded. The planes refueled, crews alerted and briefed, and tons of infantry weapons pushed aboard. While the Mats jet strato lifters are loading arms for the Indian Army, at the same airfield, another strato lifter equipped for medical air evacuation is taking aboard litter cases headed for the United States. These patients are members of the four armed services, their dependents, and in cases of extreme emergency, American tourists and nationals. Judy Rollins is one of the patients on this flight. There are two scheduled aeromedical evacuation flights from Rhine, Maine every week. Additional non-scheduled flights are added when necessary. Not only do the patients need specialized medical care in the United States, but specialized medical care on the way. The airborne nurses have the equipment and the training to make them as comfortable as they might be in any hospital on Earth. Colonel Cullis's 1,500 infantrymen are to be moved by air from Forbes Air Force Base near Fort Riley, Kansas, over the Great Circle Polar Route to Frankfurt, Germany. Each giant plane will carry 100 fully equipped soldiers. The entire battle group will be airlifted by 24 aircraft, part of one of the safest air transport services in the world. 
As East Taff and West Taff are following the progress of the four special missions to India, the United States, the South Pole, and Germany, they are also keeping track of routine flights to Wake Island, Guantanamo, Shannon, Ireland, Leopoldville, Tripoli, Rome, Naples, and many other aerial ports on five continents. Aerial transport has all but eliminated time and space separating nations of the world. The first jet strato lifters have arrived at Dum Dum Airport, Calcutta, India. The infantry weapons are immediately unloaded and rushed to the volunteer soldiers. The balanced scales of war were tipped in favor of the Indian people. Judy Rollins has arrived at Andrews Air Force Base near Washington, D.C. after a comfortable eight-hour aerial journey. Ten hours have elapsed from the time she left an army hospital room in Frankfurt, Germany, until the time she arrived in another army hospital room in Washington, D.C. With the help of the heart specialist at Walter Reed Army Hospital, she will soon be well. The same strato lifter that airlifted part of Colonel Cullis's army battle group to Europe for the NATO exercises is unloading part of another army battle group at McCord Air Force Base near Fort Lewis, Washington. Troops from Fort Riley, Kansas, flown to Germany. Other troops returned to Fort Lewis, Washington. Operation Long Thrust. Four missions to four different parts of the globe have been completed on schedule. Hundreds of other MATS planes are still in the air over the ice fields of the Arctic and the Antarctic, over the vast expanses of the Pacific, the dense jungles of South America, the populated cities of Europe and the Far East, the sands of the African desert. Every minute of every day, MATS planes are in the air somewhere in the air lanes of the world on routine support missions for the armed forces. They are all ready to change course. All area command posts. This is East Staff. All present missions are canceled. Implement recall and execute phase one. Repeat. Implement recall and execute phase one. In any spot in the world, one MATS plane can become 100 planes. 100 tons of cargo, 10,000 tons of cargo. 10,000 men, 100,000 men. MATS will support and supply these men wherever they go. In the hours and minutes it takes the fastest jet transports to fly the airways of the world. 